Hello everyone! Welcome back to uh, more Full Invasion. We are playing on the Hornburg again. Was this just yesterday we played on this map? I think it was, right? Maybe the day before? Oh well. I'm an Eastling now, which is so much cooler than whatever I was last time. What was last time? A Militiaman? Well, that person didn't live. We tried to save them. Ow. Rude. Rude. So what dropped uh, this morning, or I guess it would be yesterday morning by the time this goes up, was the new Dawn of War 3 cinematic trailer. Ooh, Dawn of War 3. Oh, I, I didn't think this was going to be coming, um, up until like, I think it was a couple days ago when they announced the teaser for the trailer. I was like, no way. They were really working on Dawn of War 3. And they were. And here, here it is. The trailer's up. You can go watch it right now. Uh, there's no gameplay. Like I said, it's just a cinematic trailer, but the cinematic trailer looks awesome. There's, uh, oh, it's, I'm not even going to talk much about it other than I would say watch it oh that's a lot of orcs it is uh it is really awesome so good I've seen it a couple times um, man but like I said like I don't really want to talk too much about it other than it's just good it's good it's cool as a Dawn of War fan I am I am super uh, super hyped One of my favorite game cinematic trailers is still the Dawn of War 2 one, where we have the Space Marines versus the Eldar. I'm not saying this replaces that, because this, like, that's so good. But still, this is pretty awesome. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Maybe if we just had a Space Marine saying, Strike from the Sky Brothers, I would say that this trailer beats the Dawn of War 2 one. Or maybe if we had a Dreadnought that captured a uh, an Eldar Banshee in its hands and then said, I am here to destroy you as it burned their face off. Maybe then this one would be better than Dawn of War 2. <laughs> oh, wow. Jeez. Things are beefy. No! I didn't even think I got hit by the enemy. So yeah, go watch that. Go watch that trailer. I want some javelins. Kind of weird they have it so that there's the like invisible ramps that you can go up these up from this side onto the wall is it not here or is that a different map am i thinking of look there's a few hornberg maps maybe this one doesn't have the invisible ramps on the inside of the walls I'm just so like 
curious what is a Dawn of War 3 even going to be like? You know? I don't I doubt it's going to be just I'm talking about in terms of gameplay, it's probably not going to be like Dawn of War 2, right? Like it can't be at this point. It can't be another I mean, maybe it can. I mean, their last game, Company Heroes, was kind of like that style of RTS. The RTS that Relic kind of made with this, you know, focus on squad combat and cover. But, like, I kind of want... No, not kind of. I want a Dawn of War 1 style. Well, okay. Not exactly, but I want the numbers that you had in Dawn of War 1. I want the mass armies versus each other again. Like, the the squad combat was cool, and it was... It, it kind of reminded me of Warcraft 3, because Warcraft 3 was all about smaller numbers. You had to make your army composition that much... It was, like, that much more important for a good army composition. And counters were huge. You can't just spam a unit and walk in to someone's base and kill them. But, like, I kind of want that back again, or, or at least having... Have a lot more numbers than you do in Dawn of War 2. More base building again, maybe. I don't know. Or maybe I want something that I don't even know about. Like, maybe Relic is just like, no, listen. We got you. It's not going to be like an RTS you played before. And that's exciting, too. I, actually, I kind of, I guess I kind of hope for that. As long as I can have a lot of people on the screen. And not just roll around with four different squads. I think I'd be kind of okay. And then just make some new game mechanics. I, I leave it in Relic's capable hands. Uh, yeah, no, I guess the, uh, there is, like, a little bit of, of an invisible ramp, but it doesn't actually get you on top of the wall if you just walk forward, apparently. Huh. I guess that's another Hornberg map. Should have got a bow. I could still get a bow, I guess. That's a boss wave. Like, seven Nazgul's? The hell? Wait for them on the walls. Man, Warcraft 3. Do you remember how Warcraft 3 was? Uh, you want to know what game I'm really hot for is Warcraft 4. And that's a game I don't think is really ever going to come around. If you were to ask me, do I would I rather have Dawn of War 3 or Warcraft 4? Dawn of War, or Warcraft 4. All the way. That's the game I really want. Workout 3 is still one of my favorite RTSs of all time. If not the favorite RTS of all time. I love the hero system. In Warcraft, you know, it's kind of odd because I just said in Dawn of War 2, I don't, I didn't kind of like it how you had a smaller amount of units than in Dawn of War 1. But in Warcraft 3, I am the exact opposite. I liked the smaller amount of units. I liked how important the army composition was. I really liked the heroes of the game. I loved how that game played. Oh, I loved it so much. And even if Warcraft 4 isn't that, I still want it. You know, I still, I just, I want it. Just give me, just, why? Why have you not made it yet? Why have you not made it yet? And like, I heard that StarCraft 2 hasn't done exactly bank for Blizzard. And that's not good. 
Because if that RTS doesn't do that well, then maybe they'll be a little wary of making a Warcraft 4. Like, if StarCraft 2 did just simply amazing, like all of three versions of it. And again, that's what I heard. I've heard it, that it hasn't exactly been the best. I haven't done any research myself. But yeah, if that game doesn't do that amazing, then why would they make a Warcraft 4? To them, maybe, you know, RTS isn't really worth it anymore. They'll just make the Overwatch, the, the Hearthstone. The World of Warcraft 2. Speaking about Overwatch, though, listen. Overwatch is pretty fun. The beta started for that this week, and that's... Oh, man. It's pretty fun. I enjoy Overwatch immensely. Yeah, hold them back, buddy. Archer's no good. No good. Well, not much for me to do here. Except for wish that uh, Warcraft 4 was around. Oh man, Overwatch is so good. It's kind of rare that that I enjoy all of the characters in a game like that. But so far... Well, no, okay. There is a character. Symmetra, I think, is probably one of my least favorite characters in that game so far. She's a support hero. Her turrets are kind of cool, but I don't like her attacks at all. Her shielding ability, I think, is... Almost next to useless. Pretty much. As far as supports go. It just doesn't do too much. I think. But yeah, her turrets are kind of cool. Or kind of neat if you can set them all up. If you have enough time, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, I would say she's probably one of my least favorites. As far as my favorites go. Gosh. I really like Soldier 76. I like uh, Reaper. Um, Tracer is just ridiculous in her survivability and maneuverability. She is beyond dumb. Um, Roadhog, as far as the tanks go, is, is a lot of fun. Pulling people toward you. Reinhardt is obviously cool because he just runs into people. Has a giant shield. They're all, they're all just super cool. Junkrat. Junkrat's a lot of fun. Now, Bastion, I know, is a lot of people's favorites because it's a turret. But, like, Bastion is fun, and in certain maps and situations, supremely easy to use and just get so many kills. 
But like, his, he just doesn't, he's not really a maneuverable character. That's not what he does. He picks a spot, he shoots some people, he can pick a new spot, but then he'll go into a turret mode and shoot some people. And I mean, that's, it's cool and all, but, eh, not really my thing. Uh, kind of same thing with Burn. you pick a spot, you drop a turret, and you kind of sit around your turret and repair it. That's cool too. Like, the turret is really good, it's really good, and people who enjoy turret type of characters, like the engineer from TF2, uh, which I do, I do enjoy it. Um, but you'll probably get a kick out of that character a lot. But, it's odd, because I, I gravitate to turret type characters, but in this game it's just so fun to move around and flank people with other characters that I find myself not really wanting to play the, the kind of just sit here and babysit a turret type of character. But I did love the engineer in TF2, but I also really love the medic in TF2. And I would say the closest person to the medic would be um, Mercy, because Mercy has a heal beam, and her alternate heal beam is a damage beam, or damage amplifying beam. So you just stick that on one of your friendly characters, and they do more damage as you keep the beam on them. You can just switch between that and the heal beam at any time. Uh, she also has this ability where she can fly to a character, and it's on like a one second cooldown, so you can just be flying all over the place, in theory, if your teammates are spread out. Um, What's the other one? And then her ultimate is she reses everybody who's dead. And it's an insanely good ultimate. Insanely good ultimate. So she's a really solid healer. But, but, I find that I like, Lu I call him Lucario. His actual name is, I think, Lucio. He's on like rollerblades. He's all about music. He's a support character as well. I like him more than Mercy, just because I think he's more unique. And he's a lot of fun. Because he just, he continually plays a song, and he can change that song to boost your um, allies' speed, or heal allies around you, or allies that have line of sight on you. I'm not exactly sure that works yet. I don't know if it's only line of sight, or if it's line of sight and an area, or what. Oh. But if you stay in the middle of your teammates, you can generally be healing them all just passively with your um, music as you're attacking people, you're rolling, rolling around. His alternate attack is this, like, knockback possibility. You can knock people off the maps or knock off melee characters from, you know, your allies and save them. And it, it's a lot of fun character. Really fun character. As far as supports go. Uh, the other support, uh, I haven't mentioned the fourth one, because we have Symmetra, you have Mercy, you have Lucio, and then you have, um, the robot guy. Robot guy's alright. Not my, not, not a huge fan of him. But he's I. He's I. Uh-oh. Uh, well, okay, we're down here now. It's not good. Come on! God! Orcs have a lot of hit points, or just thick armor. Or make sure the two, I don't know. Jeez. There's still so many more. Been there, buddy. Keep in them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wow, we are all spread out over the map. Look at that mini map. <laughs> Just running from the Balrog. You are pretty big. Too big to even hit that player. Should be able to do this. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how many hits the Belrog takes, but they can probably kite the Belrog around. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna sit and uh, watch them kite the Balrog around. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. I'll see you all next time. Take care.